In this tutorial we will talk about Blueprint Interaction – Doors. In our interiors for UE Volume 2 we added simple interactivity. Doors can be opened or closed with right mouse button click. Of course the Blueprint is highly customizable. It's made of three elements. First is Box Trigger object. It's used for interaction. If player steps into box volume, keyboard is unlocked and mouse icon is shown. The second element is static mesh. It is the place where we choose our door mesh, it's important that it has its pivot placed at hinges. And then there is material billboard 1. Here we add and configure the icon, which will indicate player what kind of interaction is allowed. Each of these elements has its associated nodes in event graph. This part of graph is responsible for collision with a trigger object. If the player walks into box trigger volume on component begin overlap, keyboard and mouse are unlocked, it's enable input, and our icon becomes visible, set visibility. After leaving the box, volume keyboard is locked again and icon becomes invisible. The part of graph below is responsible for handling the door. Even begin play, this node will be always executed when you will start the game or walk through. Here we set rest position for doors. They are closed and player needs to open them to pass to other room. Then, when player walks into box and after clicking right mouse button, we can execute an event. It is based on flip-flop node. First, right click executes play, opens the door, right clicking again, reverses animation and closes the door. The animation graph is a simple flow track, is used to set interpolation between keyframes. It's linear in this case, which means that the speed of animation is constant. Our animation is one second long. You can set duration of the animation in the length box above the graph. Timeline uses update output to execute each frame set relative rotation node by amount specified in LERP rotator. This simply says the door to open close. The last part is used to move our icon to the other side of door, so when we walk into the room, we can still see it. Values for LERPs are relative to actual blueprint position rotation. We could use matinee animation instead of these nodes, but this way it's a bit easier to exchange nodes and build upon a more complicated blueprints. Last thing worth to mention is construction script, which is executed always when we create or move our door blueprint. It just sets the door in open position. Other way we could get black borders after baking light.